Shiva Rajaya here from vitalcoaching.com. The topic for this video is why you sometimes avoid focusing on what really matters. You're familiar with the idea that when uh, you are working, you know, 80% of your time will be just geared or invested in just maintaining certain things that don't really matter. And then, um, and then uh, you, uh, you start moving uh, energy and then you start entering into this peak state where you actually start doing what really matters. So this can happen for many things in your life. You might be there and you know that there is something that you have to produce or play with or do and you're not doing it because um, you get distracted on other things. So why is it that you're not focusing on what really matters? If you had a 100% productivity day and just focusing on the important things, maybe you would get so much done, but instead you get distracted here and there. So why is this happening? This is a question for this video. And the answer is very simple. It's because when you are in high resonance, you enter into this place of high alignment, there is lots of energy, lots of light coming in, and it puts you into a state of high alertness and the state of high alertness and high resonance high vibration is really a powerful one it feels really good and at the same time your system sometimes feels a little bit saturated and you're not necessarily able to take the energies that this involves okay it's like for instance you might be doing some public speaking or you might be performing on stage or you might be um, uh, racing or doing some sports or some competition, the moment you are in the competition place where you have to perform at 100%, it brings this adrenaline rush, this convergence of energy and that peak experience is something that requires so much focus and so much presence that eventually you want to drop and go back to relaxation. You go back to a place where there is no movement, there is no energy, there is no action being taken just to be able to integrate and relax. So when you are in this alignment there, because of the intensity, you know, sometimes it feels a little bit uncomfortable. Even though it's a peak experience, but you want to at some point slow down and step back out of that state because there is too much energy circulating through your system. This is something that we have to understand. It's like high energy, high vibration light can feel uncomfortable to your body. In a sense, this is why we practice yoga, right? Hatha yoga, why do we do that? Is to be able to integrate the divine, the force, uh, nirvana, the, the light vibration into our system. And so we train our bodies to open up our pipes, open up our nadis, our meridians, to be able to take that energy further. And, um, and so as a human being, the moment you start entering into more and more frequent peak experiences, then eventually your body starts expanding and you build up muscle. But you see, I mean, it's much, much easier. <laughs> the default state that you are in is just laying down. If you stop putting any effort, maybe you will just collapse and just lay down. So there is no movement of energy. The moment you start investing your time and energy into something, then you start investing willpower, focus, concentration. And that involves sometimes a little bit of struggle. So this is why sometimes you avoid focusing on what really matters. If there is this person that you should be calling to solve some form of conflict or something, or a person who can take your business to the next step and you are not picking up the phone to call that person, why? sometimes there is just too much at stake. So it puts you into this state of, you know, of inattention that stretches you out of your comfort zone. So in the process of doing that, it's a very conductive, expansive move. But at the same time, a part of you just wants to stay within, you know, hiding in the cave, in the comfort zone. And so that's it. This is my answer. This is why sometimes you avoid focusing on what really matters. So how to break that? How to focus on what really matters a little bit more? Well, there is a very simple thing to do. It's like you focus your mind when you wake up in the morning and you go like, let me take 10 steps that are going to stretch my comfort zone, that are going to help me move forward in what I'm supposed to be doing here. Take 10 steps every day that bring you a little bit closer to your goal. And each time you feel the resistance, each time you go like, uh, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's like avoiding doing what really matters, avoiding doing what's important. You catch yourself in that moment, you observe, you stalk yourself in that moment and you just go like, oh, 
Yeah, I can feel the resistance, I can feel the fear, I can feel the tension building up in my body, I can feel the maybe the performance anxiety, and I'm still going to go ahead and do it. Okay, so it's a trick in the mind. It's something that you can train, you can perform, you can learn how to do that so that you enter more and more into peak states, peak flow states. And um, another element, it's sometimes it's just important to just relax in the process. It means that you can, when you feel tension building up, you go, you know, there is this contraction, this focus, this need to micromanage the experience. Instead, you can just relax, allow flow to, to come in, allow synergic flow to come into your system. You enter into this state that I call nadaya, or a state of flow. And then you start moving in the right direction. And all it takes very often is just a small step in the right direction. You take one step, and then you take another step, and then suddenly you, that's it, you're moving in the right direction. If you have been experiencing that, for instance, with uh, physical training, right? Sometimes you wake up and you go, oh, too tired to go to the gym, uh, oh, you know, and so you start avoiding it. You go behind your laptop, you start doing things that are irrelevant. And this is to avoid putting yourself under pressure, avoid going into your reserves and, and moving in. So the best way to overcome that is like, no, you, you see that you're distracting yourself. So you go, no distractions, you just put your gym shoes and you go and you move over there. And then when you arrive at the gym, just sit on the bench and just grab a weight or, you know, you get, sit on the machine and you, you sit there for a moment and then you start making a little move. And then suddenly so before you know it, you're in full workout mode. So yeah, small steps. Um, noticing the places where you're avoiding and uh, feeling the discomfort, feeling the fear, feeling the anxiety around the steps that you're about to take and doing it anyway. Also, once you have been entering a lot into big states, it's important also to have times of relaxation and rest where you drop it and you let go, okay? If you are in, in kind of conquering mode all the time, then it's also something that can be, um, you know, putting too much stress on your system after a while. Basically, this is it. To your success, take action. The time has come to fulfill your destiny. I love you.